Les Impitoyables Whiskey Glass from Peugeot, the ruthless whiskey glass. Should you get some? Let's unbox it and check it out here on the Whiskey Whistle. Hey everybody, why don't you come with me to the Scottish Highlands? It's going to be a blast. What up my whiskey peeps, Mark here from Whiskey Whistle on YouTube, sharing a little whiskey awesomeness from Winnipeg, the center of North America, bringing you Les Impitoyables, the ruthless whiskey glass from Peugeot. Yes, the same maker as the car, but they also make all kinds of, I guess we'll call that kitchen stuff, stuff for enjoying food. They call that Peugeot Saveur, their uh, range of products for eating and drinking, glasses, um, pepper grinders, do you have one of those? I've got a few from Peugeot. Anyway, we're going to unbox it. This is a real unboxing. This came a while ago, just like this, from Amazon. We're going to open it up. We're going to pull them out. i got two of them, so we're going to chill one of them, because these are meant to be chilled. So let's get that unboxed. And then we're going to compare something that is very nice chilled, and that is Nika from the barrel. And we'll also compare it to the standard Glen Cairn glass. All right, so let's check that out. Couldn't find my box cutter, so this will have to do. Really excited about this. Okay, so, and Mark, please don't break anything. There we go. Very nicely packaged, beautiful. Now, they come in these, this is really great. They come in these really cool canisters. Les Impitoyables, Savour de Whiskey. Cette dégustation. I can't even say that. Degustation. Tasting set with refreshing base. That's really cool. So take one of those out. And the other one, wrapped in bubble wrap. I guess we can throw that box away now. And the unboxing continues. Please don't be broken. Wouldn't that be a shame? How do I get into this? There we go. Beautiful. Okay, so we got one and we got two. Kind of a shame this is taped because that means it's going to ruin it. Yeah, not good. Not good. Not good. I'm guessing this one was returned, was it? Not all, oh, that's just destroyed. Just destroyed. This one, absolutely new. This one, I wonder. But I guess we'll have to see what it's like. This one's dented. Well, I think the glass is intact, but yeah. Okay. Big glass. A little bit more voluminous than Glen Cairn. We'll have to give these a wash. Look at that, right? Pretty sturdy. It's not like that flimsy kind of fancy crystal you find. Pretty sturdy. It comes with a cool book, all about it. Mostly in French. Oh yeah, here we go. So it tells you how to use it. Okay, here's the English. The whiskey glass from Les Impitoyables collection is designed to enhance all whiskeys and eau de vie, such as cognac and armagnac. With a distinctive wide bowl, this technical glass will reveal the subtleties in the whiskey, bringing out the aromas for an utterly indulgent tasting. Rinse thoroughly before first use. To enjoy full benefits, uh, the pour of whiskey should be lower than the central dome, which is intended to divide the liquor and prevent an overpowering elevation of alcohol vapors to the nose, thus tasting in sheer perfection. The metal base is designed to chill the spirit for at least 30 minutes without upsetting uh, or uh, upsetting it or creating a temperature shock that would inhibit the release of scents and without the use of ice without the use of ice pardon me for best results leave the metal base in the freezer for a few hours very heavy this is really heavy holy cats so this one i'm gonna i don't know like i'm gonna keep this it's destroyed disappointed all right, so we get a couple of cool things. Let's open up this guy. 
see if I can do it one-handed. There. What do we have here? Looks like a coaster. And it might be made of leather. Mm-hmm. Oh, very nice. Yep, I think that is uh, pleather. But anyway, it's nice and sturdy and perfect. A perfect coaster. Beautifully made. Beautifully detailed. Check out the detail on that. Great logo embossed in there. And nicely stitched all around. I guess that's stitched right through. Beautiful. Let me set that one there for a minute. Okay, but wait, there's more. Okay, so now we have this extremely heavy metal base. What is this made of? Okay, so very, very silky feel. It's brushed almost like a polish, but really nice. Can you see that? Really beautiful. All right, so that's the base. Let's see how this works. So you got your coaster, and you're going to put that on top. It should be ice cold. And then this one has a divot in there, kind of like a punt on a, on a wine bottle. Okay. And you set it down like so. Hmm. Very cool. Much, much bigger than a Glen Cairn. This is for serious whiskey lovers. Can you see the difference in size? Okay. Much, 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 much bigger. About double the, um, uh, double the surface area and about double the liquid volume as well. So interesting. Let's get rid of that now. All right, so one of these I have to go and chill right now. So let me go stick that in the freezer and see how it does. Very cool. You right back. Okay, I'm back. Let's get the other one open. Whoa. Oh yes, this one is brand new. The other one, maybe not. Okay, beautiful. Okay. I like these. These are great. Also with the Canadian Glen Cairn whiskey glasses. I think I have one here that's housing my pipe right now. Very large. This one can easily handle two and a half, even three ounces. I don't think you can really fit three ounces in there. That would go almost right to the brim. Love these coasters. And this one we will leave unchilled. All right, now I have to go and wash these. I'll be right back. Okay, so let's get these nice and rinsed. And I think I'll even wash it a little bit. These are going to be a little bit tough to wash, actually. Probably best to use a spongy thing. Yeah, these new glasses, they always have a little bit of a film on them. So give it a good, uh, good wash and a good rinse. Ideally an inverted rinse to get everything out of there. So, so ooh, that's hot. Good. Number two. Yeah, these Danish um, horse hair brushes don't quite work for this. And I wouldn't want to do this job because I'd probably possibly break them. Anyway. Alright. Get it nice and rinsed. Okay. That should be good. Let's go back. All right, we're back. Let's dry those up. I have two claws that I like to dry my whiskey glasses with that leave the least possible amount of um, little filaments on the glass. I also wash them by hand so that they don't smell like a dish. What's that called again? Washing machine. Uh, Detergent, there we go. 
You know, it's so funny. After having been in Korea for 13 years, sometimes the Korean word pops in my head before the English one does. Okay, looks pretty darn nice. And you can buy Les Impitoyables. Les Impitoyables. You can buy it separately, the glasses, or you can buy the set, including the, uh, the chilling bases. And pretty smart too, because the, the base is pretty much indestructible. Um, the glass is the thing that probably you'd go through maybe one every couple of years. So let's hope that they keep making these. The smart person might actually buy a few extras of these just in case. And we're going to let that chill for quite a long time. So I'm actually going to just pour these. We'll taste that Nika from the barrel in these two glasses and compare them. Then I'll grab that uh, chilled base after I'm done other reviews so that time has lapsed and it's nice and cold. And then we'll check that out again. All right. So let's pour a little bit of Nika from the barrel. And that's the one that I'm going to keep for a while. Nice and clean, right? Yep. And these are handmade. So you can see slight imperfections and slight differences from one to the next. And that's part of the beauty of um, fine glassware and uh, crystal. Okay. Nika from the barrel. Hope you have one of those or a couple. Whoa. There goes my Nika. Nika from the barrel. Let's just compare what's happening here with the noses. The Glencairn does a really good job of making the no the, the whiskey very approachable compared to, say, um, a lowball or a rocks glass. Fresh, fruity, hint of something smoky lurking in the background there. Very, very nice. Let's see how this smells with the the ruthless whiskey glass similar great nose a little bit more i'm getting a little bit more of the malty character coming through here that's that yoichi and miyagi kyo coming through in um, nika from the barrel Beautiful, really, really nice. Works exceptionally well. I like the shape. It's a little bit more funneled. The picture that they show, of course, shows harsh vapors returning uh, to the to the bottom. So it travels in a circle, goes back down, and then only the nice vapors that we want to smell coming through. But it does a really nice job of making that a very aromatic whiskey. And it's aromatic to begin with, so. Hmm. To rate the strength of the nose, I'll give the Glencairn an 8 out of 10. And for uh, the Ruthless Whiskey Glass, Les imp imp it's so hard to say, Les Impitoyables. Let's see. Sheer strength, I'm going to give it one more 9 out of 10. And flavors, sense, sense, notice, not flavors, Mark, you're not eating the nose, you're smelling it. Nine out of 10, and over here. I'm going to have to give it nine and a half out of 10. I get a little bit more of citrus, which I don't really notice over here from the Glencairn. So slightly more fruit coming through. Both very nice. Of course, there's a bit of a cost difference. That is, oh, what is the price now? Okay, so on Amazon, you can get the base and the glass for $44.19 in Canadian currency. So 44.19, so about what like um $35 US. 
versus your standard Glencairn, which is about uh, 10 to $12 in Canada and 6 to 10 in USA. Of course, you get the base. So there's a bit of an added feature. You also get a coaster. So you're getting three things compared to one. So hard to compare the price. Just the glass alone, I think, would probably be more like 20 So um, about double the price in terms of the glass. Of course, the volume is bigger and more detail in some ways. In fact, interestingly, they're almost like the, the absolute re reverse. So you take what's outside of the Glencairn, and that's what's inside of this one, right? Anyway, so in a hollow space there. And I think... In terms of being able to hold the glass, you can prevent uh, your whiskey from getting getting warm by holding the base. Whereas with this one, you're going to be holding it up at the top to prevent warming the whiskey. Because if you hold it at the bottom, you'll be warming it with your hands and that'll just ruin the experience of chilling it for the summer. I guess you could also hold it by the punt that might be not bad, but a little bit weird looking, right? No, it just doesn't work. There we go. That's the way. All right. So the palette. By the way, I would say that the current Nika from the barrel is a little bit less smoky than the former one, which looked like kind of like... Um, uh, like paper mache, paper folding, black front, and had like the seam along the like the bias there. Anyway, seems to be a little bit less smoky and a little bit more fruity and sweet. And it seems like all whiskeys are doing this. Hmm. You still get that bit of peppery poof coming out of that yoichi that's direct fired that just makes that even all the more mm, potent peppery gunpowdery and delicious let's see how we can taste with the ruthless whiskey glass from Peugeot Les Impitoyables there we go I had to practice with listening to the uh, the Google pronunciation so here it is turn it up for you Les impitoyables. Les impitoyables. There we go. Les impitoyables. All right, so let's see how this tastes. How does this glass work for actually tasting the whiskey? Hmm. I like the bigger mouth. It seems to come out a little bit more slowly, which seems almost the reverse, but um, it's spread out a little bit more. Hmm. And it seems to cover a little bit more width of your tongue. And I have to say, hands down, I prefer the palette from Peugeot. So well done, Peugeot. Peugeot Saveur. You've done an excellent job of making Les Impitoyables, the ruthless whiskey glass, and I'm really loving it. Hmm. The Glencairn delivers a much more peppery sort of, again, that gunpowdery note is really, really prevalent here, whereas the ruthless whiskey glass yeah, don't hold it by the punt. I think because it's spread out on your tongue, that pepperiness is minimized and you're getting a little bit more of the, the sweet vanillas and caramels and a bit more of the fruit as well. So well done. For the palate, I'm going to give that a 10 out of 10. And for the Glen Cairn, I'll give that an 8.5 out of 10. It's a performer for sure. Price-wise, hard to beat it. The only way to beat that for price is to go with a knockoff. And there's plenty out there. 
and I would advise you don't get those because you are, you know, you're supporting a ripoff. You're supporting uh, someone who has just taken the design and and uh, maybe just tweaked one little aspect and put that out as their whiskey glass. So that's just not good. You'll find a lot of the branded Glen Cairns are actually not Glen Cairns. So check carefully and try to stick to the Glen Cairn because um, they're the ones who created it. And anything that's a little bit different is slightly inferior. I did find some absolutely 100% knocked off versions in Korea made in um, Eastern Europe somewhere. No comment there. Nobody could ever duplicate this shape without getting into trouble um, in terms of uh, copyright. That is absolutely a unique shape. You know, there are lots of um, wine glasses and water goblets that have a very similar base and more bulbous, um, what do you call that, the bowl? But, you know, not far off. So I'll bet that Glencairn does have some troubles with copyright infringement and um, have probably been to court more than once, I would guess. And I'll bet you they've won some, and I'll bet you they've lost some too. Uh, Peugeot, however, uh, they'll never lose a battle over that design. <laughs> Amazing. They have reinvented the wheel <laughs> wow well done hmm cool stuff keep your whiskey cold for about i think about an hour they say so in summary comparing the peugeot les impitoyables the ruthless whiskey glass from peugeot with glencairn there's almost no contest not to say that there is something missing or lacking from the glencairn it does a great job for what it is, and for the price, very hard to beat. But with the Peugeot uh, Ruthless Whiskey Glass Les Impitoyables, you are getting the next level. You're getting the intermediate or even the expert level of whiskey glass uh, to enjoy your collection with. And if you've got a nice collection, then you want to have some nice glassware to really enjoy your whiskey. This is a definite buy, and I would highly recommend that you get uh, yourself a Peugeot Les Impitoyables, the ruthless whiskey glass from Peugeot. Flows into your mouth very gently, broadens the displacement of the whiskey on your tongue, and it hits more of uh, your tongue thus offering a rounder flavor than the Glencairn, which in this case comes off as very peppery. So it's almost like two different whiskeys. What other whiskey glasses have you enjoyed? I know we have the Norlin out there. We have Neat, the Neat whiskey glass, and some of the Typical wine, stemmed wine glasses have their own whiskey glasses or spirits glasses as well. And what do you think? What are your favorites? Leave it in a comment. I'd love to hear from you, okay? I'm back with the frozen base for the Les Impitoyables Peugeot Whiskey Tasting Glass. Ruthless whiskey glass. Stays cold for 30 minutes. It'll probably keep it a little bit cold for, let's say, roughly an hour. And as you can see, it's very frozen. So if you can see all of the, the frozen little uh, condensation happening there, let's get that uh, poured and tried out real quick so we don't lose any uh, coldness. And I used a cloth to grab it so that my hands don't heat it up. Okay, so let's try adding a little bit of this kneecap from the barrel again. And I chose this one because I really like Japanese whiskey when it's cold. We'll let that sit a minute. And just to recap, such a beautiful nose 
that this gl this glass gives you. Decidedly better than Glencairn, and I'll just just say that. And I do like the Glencairns quite a lot, and I really enjoy them, and I use them a lot, and I use them for my tastings as well. And the way it hits your palate is just ideal. Beautiful. I don't see anything happening on the glass just yet, but I would expect that there will be some condensation happening as soon as the whiskey hits uh, a point that's well enough below the temperature of the room, the room temperature. And I can feel the glass is getting cold. I had it in the freezer for just about two hours, maybe a little bit less, probably in a deep in your deep freeze for overnight would be ideal two hours is not bad it's cold for sure but i can already see that uh, there's some condensation there of course the heat from the whiskey will be um, warming up the the base the cold from the base will be cooling down the whiskey so it all happens at once oh yeah that's cold so let's see what's happened here you get a little bit more of an astringent nose, a little bit more citrus as well. Oh yeah, I can definitely feel the glass chilling down now. The glass is absolutely cold and it'd be cool if I had a temperature gauge, but um, it's probably about 10 degrees now. I love everything about the experience that this Peugeot Les Impitoyables glass is giving me. I really love it. Now, again, I don't think I would use that without the base. Uh, maybe, you know, maybe. Probably because I like how it feels on my palate. That would be number one. Okay, so let's try. Oh. The whole glass is cold now. And the nose is tightened up. A little bit of citrus. A little bit of vanilla. Cheers. Hmm. It's brought the whiskey down to roughly about 10 degrees. And that makes it very nice for sipping. I'm guessing that probably we can maybe get to about seven or eight degrees and that'll be about it for uh, for this. It's still very icy cold though, very cold. Give it another minute. Oh, it's just so heavy. Easily a pound. Okay, let's try that again. Hmm. One thing you may like, you get more pepper now, and you also get a little bit more syrupy mouthfeel, which I think a lot of people like. And it seems to hang on your palate a little bit longer, and the finish seems to last a bit longer as well. Mm-hmm. Big, big citrus. Well, it works very well. And I quite like that. And I can even see that the whiskey has slowed down. And that's great. That is the Peugeot Les Impitoyables whiskey glass. The Ruthless whiskey glass. Beautiful glasses. Very well made. Excellent for smelling, excellent for tasting, especially for tasting. And you get the added feature of being able to chill down your whiskey a little bit in the summer months, or your cognac, or your armagnac, or your calvados, or whatever the uh, brandy that you're liking to, that you'd like to enjoy. Beautiful glasses, definite talking pieces. These would make a great gift 
for yourself <laughs> or for uh, your whiskey buddy for his birthday. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you click the link over here to subscribe to Whiskey Whistle right here, that emblem. Hit the bell so you're notified of the future Whiskey Whistles. And if you're in Winnipeg, join the WinnipegWhiskeyClub.com or email me, Mark, at WinnipegWhiskeyClub.com. Come with me to the Scottish Highlands in November, November 10th to 18th, 16 distilleries in 10 days. You can get an itinerary in the link below. Last but not least, if you are enjoying this video, I sure hope you'd be interested in becoming a patron of the channel through Patreon. That's a crowd sharing site, patreon.com backslash whiskey whistle. And uh, don't forget to tell me your thoughts on this glass or on that whiskey, etc. Take care, everybody. See you for the next one. Goodbye now. Thanks for watching Whiskey Whistle. Be sure to subscribe and don't forget to give this video a like and leave a comment down below. Be sure to stay tuned next time to join me, the host of the show, Mark, as I explore more whiskeys with you. Take care now, and we'll see you next time.